Alright guys, so today I'm going to do a review on a movie that I haven't done the full franchise for. So, Amityville Dollhouse is one of the million Amityville movies. Um, and I've seen Amityville 1, 2, 3, 4, um, the remake, the one with Bella Thorne in it, um, and that's it. And I and I know there's a lot more. And I saw on Amazon Prime this one was on there. And I and I really was kind of interested in like yeah like just hearing about it because Amityville, um, the movies I really don't enjoy that much. Really, honestly, any of them um, that I've seen so far. Maybe I might enjoy them if I rewatch them. But even the first one, I really didn't enjoy that much. The original, but. This one sounded intriguing because it was about like an evil dollhouse. Like I thought that was cool. I thought that was an awesome idea for for this franchise, even though it's dumb, like you'd expect. But yeah, the the whole franchise that I've seen so far is dumb. But I've never been fully entertained by the franchise. But um, like I said, I'll review the others eventually. But as a test today, I'm just gonna review Dollhouse, which, like I said, is the fifth or sixth one, or maybe seventh. I don't even know. There's like twenty of them. But the basic plot of this is that this family moves into a house and they find a shed and there's a doll, there's a house, dollhouse, just like the Amityville house. No explanation, it's just there. Um, they don't have any real explanation, literally at all. They just say, oh, I found this dollhouse. And it is the Amityville house, but doll size form. And chaos ensues. Um, you've got a little girl who likes the dollhouse and the dollhouse starts talking to her and it starts doing weird things and then it makes all the family hallucinate like in the other Amityville movies like they hallucinate too but instead of the dad shooting people in this one the dad just hallucinates that everybody's gonna die and he's sad about it um the mo the new mom hallucinates where she wants to have sex with her new stepson um and they all and the little kid one of the little kids um, there's a boy and a girl. The little girl likes the dollhouse, and the other little boy, he go he sees his dead father, like hallucinates, sees his dead father that, and he says the dead father says like you need to kill them, whatever. Um, so they all hallucinate, and they all, of course, are kind of hypnotized by this dollhouse. Um, it just causes chaos, and honestly, the only good thing I could say about this one is that. I thought it had some good imagery to it. I thought that there were moments that were good with it, with how it looked. Um, there's some images of, like, hell and, like, creepy things like that where, like, you see, like, a demon, or I'm assuming Satan, and then you see, like, all these creepy, really quick cuts of, like, basically hell. And I like that. I thought that was cool. Um... The acting is really whatever. I think this is like a direct-to-video movie. I, I'm, a, I'm really assuming it's direct-to-video. I don't think it would have been anything like a theatrical at all. But, uh, but yeah, the acting is subpar. It's whatever. Um, the movie, besides having some cool imagery, honestly, there's not anything that I can really give value to here. Like, it's not anything you've seen. It's not anything I haven't seen before. Or something that I'm even that remotely interested in. Like this this subgenre of horror, like haunted house movies, is not my not my thing. But I will watch them and review them. And there's some I like more than others. The Amityville franchise is just not a franchise that I really like um, at all. Like that I've seen so far. But maybe I might find some more that will surprise me. But really, so far, nothing has surprised me. And I hear the Amityville 1 and 2 are the best, so... I'm really, hopefully I might find another I might enjoy, but man, I'm really not enjoying the franchise. So, there's really not much else of value to say. Like, it's just, it's just one of those stereotypical haunted house movies where, like, all this weird shit starts happening and people start hallucinating and, like, it's nothing I haven't seen before. And it's got some cool imagery in it, but besides that, it's pretty boring and pretty by-the-numbers horror movie like it's not anything special it's called amityville because it's got a house like the amityville house that's a dollhouse which inexplicably is just there wherever these people are they're there even amityville 4 like gave the reason like that this lamp was from the amityville house this haunted lamp if you haven't seen amityville 4 it's it's pretty hilarious because it's got a haunted lamp 
because it's a lamp that was from the Amityville house, and then these people take it, and then chaos ensues in that movie as well. Um, I'd rather watch that one than this one, honestly. This one was just run-of-the-mill. That one at least was so bad it was kind of funny. Um, not great, but it was it was somewhat entertaining, Amityville 4. Um, but yeah, this franchise really hasn't done much for me so far. I, uh, like I said, this one just had some okay imagery. It's nothing really special. Nothing really memorable at all. I've honestly kind of just forgotten about it. I just, re I just watched it a day or two ago, and I've already just kind of forgotten about it. So pretty much all I could say about Amityville Dollhouse. Um, I will review the others eventually, but as of now, it's just, this was a, this is just a movie I watched randomly on Amazon Prime, so I thought I might as well review it now just to get it out of the way. Um, but I'll review the rest of the franchise one day. Um, I know I will one day. So, nothing else to say here. Uh, pretty whatever Amityville movie. Nothing special. I gave it two stars out of five on Letterboxd. Um, and that's it for today. I'll, uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care.